This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. This is Basil Chapman uh, doing the uh, 8 a.m live update and this is going to be a pre-recorded show when i view my tiger technicians hour for the next 30 minutes and that'll be replayed at noon today i'm unable to make uh, the noon time but i will be back with tom o'brien for an interview at about uh, after three o'clock today so the futures are huge they're up 394 yesterday the dow closed at 26,925, uh, and the futures right now are up 395 points at 27,184. Uh, with my work on the daily chart, you're looking at 27,346, a strong 14 period exponential moving average resistance, and the support really is in the 27,000. But I would say 26. If by the end of the day, for my subscribers to my opening call, what I've said is if the Dow is up over 180 points after 1 30 p.m., that's going to be good for the close. But if it suddenly pulls back and it's up only 80 points or less, that suggests that it's going to weaken into the closing into Wednesday. I look at the S&P, the futures at this particular point are up um, 36 points at 33.37. Uh, and this is going to be very important because what we're looking at is in the patterns uh, that I formulate for the Chapman Wave methodology, 30 at 33.36 right now, the very strong resistance will be at 33.59. If we can get there, that's, that's fantastic. But you've got to hold 33.05 to 32.95 as support. You're looking at the uh, the QQQ right now. We're talking about up a dollar 37 at 271.35. You made a lower low yesterday. The Qs are much weaker. That is the NDX 100. These leading stocks are, are, are much weaker. We've had a rotation into cyclicals, deep cyclicals, like uh, Caterpillar, Deer, Alcoa, even has started to move. If you're looking at the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, this is an, a nice move. It's trying to get back into the gap. It's up 264 right now, early on at 8.03, uh, 8.01 in the morning. Uh, 158.46 it needs to get all the way to 156 to suggest that it has the power to move even higher it's going to be tough to do um, we'll talk about that in my show coming up and look at gold gold is up um, eight dollars at 1900 you think it would be up a lot more under these conditions so it's kind of interesting to watch dollars a bit down let's look at the uh, uh, G gb i uh, know let's look at the BTC, which is the Bitcoin, which has really been on a run, BTC. BTC right now is down 125, hugging the top of the range. We're going to be see whether there's a rotation going on, and I think that what we need to be looking at is also the bonds. Bonds right now are down 24 ticks, stuck in the lower range, meaning yields are going to the upper range. Oh, it's going to be a really important couple of days coming up. I'll talk about it in my show coming up, the Tiger Ignitions Hour. Have a wonderful day, and... Um, Let's hope that there's peace and quietness for the next two years. I'll be back in a moment.